Okay, so welcome back to part two. We are just gonna go right into part two of the video. So let's have some more fun. Now this stamp was done with this stacker thing, the stacker stamp. And I've kind of already pulled it apart, but I'm gonna pull it in here so you can see. The cool thing about this is it comes in this big giant sheet. Like this is bigger than eight by 10, I think. But these are all of the designs on them, and they're obviously much bigger than this. But there's like when they say they're stackers, they really are. So like these, all these pieces come apart. So when you put a stamp on something, and let's just find a page. And color down on it really fast. And this art paper is just soaking it right up. Okay, so for instance, if we wanted to do these stackers, then and we wanted to do, um, let's do orange, see if that will work. And if you used an acrylic block, it's probably going to be a lot easier. I just use my hands. So you don't always get the cleanest. But So then there's one stamp. Then I could take this stamp, which came from inside of a different stacker. And this has a little bit of black on it, so it's going to be a little darker. And then I could take this one, which is from a different one. And you could actually layer the different colors. So if I wanted to use, like, a green, you know, different colors of ink as I'm layering, that would work too. But see how cute that is? And then I go up here... And let's do the big one in black. And again, see how cute those are? Let me find one. Well, like for this one. This is just a canvas that I kind of already started. But if we wanted to add a little more dimension to this, we could totally... I'm just going to use that one again. Well, let's go with the smaller one. This is where it being on this comes in handy because, like I said, you can really press it down into the canvas. Oh, how cute is that? See? I mean, I wouldn't even have to add any more if I didn't want to, but oh, that is cute. Let's do this one. Seriously, could just do these little suckers all day long. And then look how stinking cute is your background. Love it. So those are the Bloom Stackers um, by Samantha Walker. Really cool from Unity Stamps. So what else? A lot of fun. Um, besides the sprays, there's the new Distress Stain, but also. A lot of fun new stamps from Unity. Um, I love this little stamp right here. If you took the three hearts um, class, and you'll love this one because it's got little hearts on it. But look how cute that little stamp is. You broke with left, what's left of my heart, which, you know, isn't necessarily a sweet saying, but it's, it's just a dang cute stamp. You could always block that out if you didn't want the words. So that's a Unity stamp that's fun. And then I, I got these stamps in because I just thought they were kind of cool um, for texture-wise, like on backgrounds. Um, it's Weekly Schedule Vintage Apple, Apple and the Pair of the Recipe. And I could just see it totally... Um, you know, like, let's take this and let's put some color on it really fast. Anyways, just for some, like, a cool texture background on whatever, an art journal, whatever you want. And I did that upside down, but look how, like, that's just a really cool texture. Same with, um, let me find... Here's a canvas that I've done already, and if I wanted to add another texture to it, let's see what I did 
good with it. Right here. And it just adds a really cool texture to the back of your thing. So I love those two texture stamps. Also brought in this really fun circle one. I haven't taken it off the haven't used it yet. So now's a good time, right? Let's use it on this. How cute. Love that. And then, of course, if you took the three hearts class, I used the whole time through the whole class, I used these fun little watercolor stamps um, from Donna Downey. They're just like the poppy, the flower ones. Totally love those. And they are just the little flowers. So we have those in the store. And those are fun to like do and then you can totally color them in with the Faber Castell pens. And have like a fun watercolor effect. See, those are really fun. And she's got some sayings on here too, which go really well on it. It's probably going to be upside down. Oh, it is. But, so cute. Okay, so those are some more fun stamps. And then, of course, my favorite stamp. Let's see if I can find it. It's the. this one it says she remained true to herself and I just absolutely love this stamp and I'm just gonna put it right here so you can see but I get a very good image but I love it love it love it love it so simple okay plus we have this fun stamp I kind of brought this stamp in I actually didn't realize it was kind of like a holiday looking one it says season greetings on it but I just love like that it's got all the different different textures and stuff behind it. So it's kind of fun because it's got, you know, holiday looking stuff on it. And then we also brought in some more rub-ons, which I love, love, love. Let me pull up the rest of the stuff. Um, we have this fun stamp. It's like a harlequin, but it's got little teeny words in between it. Um, there's some more of the of the Balzer new the Crafters Workshop stencils. Love the Chevron one. In fact, we should probably do that one. Um, this is a cool stamp. It is the Mara Johnson um, get up against the wall, and this one is gonna give a really cool, 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 cool texture to it. And it just looks like a brick wall. Isn't that fun? Cool. Um, and then we have new paper pads from Crate, which of course, for me, you know when I create, you know, like say this background right here, it's all pieced with different pattern papers. I love using the little mini patterns because like this is, these are all from paper pads and all of these designs are normally big 12 by 12 designs, but when they stick them on the 6x6 paper pads, they shrink them down and make them smaller. So you get all these little designs that fit better when creating art or creating girls or whatever you're going to do with it. So those are kind of fun. And then we have new rub-ons in the store. Um, two of my new favorite rub-ons. You know how much I love to do stitches on rub-ons. They're like my favorite because um, they just add like the best little touches to stuff. And don't mind this girl. Um, this is another story for another day. But I was creating her and I was trying to do this really cool doodling thing on her face and it ended up looking like a ginormous tattoo that didn't, yeah. So, 
it's not very pleasant. But when you're, if, if you know, I love to use stitches as a way to enhance like the page. So I'm going to roll it in here. Like just to use on the girls in different places that I do. Just love the stitch and row ones. They're just little stitches. So it looks like you actually, you know, stitched onto your canvas. And we had a lot in stock from Kai or yeah, Kaiser Craft, but they discontinued them. So I found these ones from Die Cuts. And then they also have these colored ones, which I love because they're a little more fresh and fun um, from uh, Little Bicycle. Okay, so I wanted to check out these. I haven't actually used these two patterns yet. So I wanted to see what kind of pattern we get with these two. This is the chevron and the triangle. So I'm just going to use and let's just do the green. Yeah, so cute. They actually look like little teeny trees. That's kind of cute. I love it. And then the chevron. Let's do this one in. Oh, that is so cute. I love it. And then, of course, you could go in and add some more texture to it. Loving it, loving it. And how about this one right here? It says, the journey is the start of the adventure. Cute. I could just see these on canvases, like seriously. Say I have this girl canvas, remember I showed it to you. And it's not. We're going to talk about that in another vlog. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Um, but let's say we wanted to put it says until you spread your wings in the way to fly. But we just needed some words on here and we didn't want to, you know, cut out the little words. Let's put that up here in the corner. There you go. It's on your canvas, and seriously, you're done. Anyways, so, these are just fun. All the fun stuff that we have in the shop. There's just so much. I love the stackers. I love the new stencils, the new sprays. They're great. You know, another thing with the sprays, like this, um, it doesn't have an all-over color, but you could spray this on it when you're done with whatever you're doing. And because it's permanent, it's going to dry that way, but you've got this little shine and a little shimmer to it. So that's another way to use, like the, the mist. You gotta be dry first. Anyway, so come check out the shop. We got a lot of fun stuff. I'm excited about it. I'm gonna be in here playing for a while, so.